Displacement in Blender, one of the ways in 3D to emphasize realism by giving points data of different heights, thus showing the surfaces in more accurate to real life and not just flat planes. What we're talking about today is the displacement node, which was specific to cycles only, and using it in cycles can increase the render time due to the subdivision it needed, alongside the heavy loads in the viewport. But now, with the new EV next in Blender 4.1, the problem is finally solved. To get the alpha version of Blender 4.1, you need to visit the main site and go to the download section there. Under the experimental versions, you will find the alpha version to download it in a compressed format, so just unzip it and run the program. As I said before, if we run this on EV and try to view the brick material, it will show up as a flat surface, even though we have the displacement node attached to it on a subdivide surface. However, if we switch to cycles and turn on the displacement from the material settings, you will see the effect on this surface, and that will make it more realistic comparing to EV, but also expect more time and heavy loads. So now we have a mid solution. If you open the render engines to choose from, you will find the new EV next on the list. This one will provide us with the displacement data we need alongside the lightness of EV in both work and render. And that's not the only upgrade it has. There's more features regarding light calculations and shadows with many other ones on the way. So I think it's time for EV to become a decent render engine. And that's it. Like and share if you care. And see you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.